guys so i'm back with another video this wig is from jennylacewigs.com and it is more for my like kinky haired styled natural girls and it doesn't really look that great on me but i thought i would share it anyway because i feel like just because i don't like it doesn't mean that you guys won't like it so um really quick this is what the wig looks like it's definitely a great protective style for my natural hair girls so i'm gonna go through the scope of this wig really quick it is a 14 inch 1b medium cap size medium brown lace hair density is 110 to 130 it does feel a lot thicker just because it is like that kinky curl and um this is a lace front show you guys the inside of it it does have a silk top this is what a silk top looks like it looks like a scalp just so you guys know i think it's a four by four yeah it is a four by four it's a four by four silk top right here this wig does have baby hair and it does have three combs on the side one in the back and adjustable straps so i'm gonna put this on so you guys and i'm gonna put the combs in okay so this is supposed to be like a curly bush wig now it could work if sorry just trying to get it to work for you guys now this could be a really nice curly wig like so if you were to trim it and do whatever you needed to do with it and pull your head to the front and brush it to the front and have like that uh middle part not middle part sorry if you just pull the hair to the front and cut it so it's a little shorter to give you like that curly afro bush um, like I said, this isn't a wig for me, um, just because it's so thick. But I thought my natural girls would like it. So, here's the silk top that you can part. So yeah, as you guys can see, there's the silk part. Well, the silk top. So you can part this wherever you would like. And let me see. Just play around with it a little bit. So yeah, it is more for like my natural girls with thicker hair. For the... Let me see. It is really, really snug. It does have a natural hairline. This is probably something that someone might want to glue down. Um, the baby hair is even curly. So, just to give you guys an idea of what it looks like. It's definitely okay. It's not something that I would wear myself. But this wig is one of those wigs that does need to be co-washed first. Um... Oh, this is cute. I like this little style. It, it is something that needs to be um, co-washed first just to get rid of some of the frazzles at the bottom. Like it's kind of like really kinky at the bottom. But I thought the color was pretty. I thought it was really, really natural. And definitely something for my natural girls who need a protective style for the winter. So yeah, the best thing probably about this wig is the fact that it doesn't shed. Um, it does tangle. Um, that's because of the texture. It is really thick. And I like the fact that you can make this as big as you want. And this is definitely something you would have to face frame. Let's see, I'm just playing around with it a little bit. But yeah, I think like the whole afro feel is really, really cute for the fall and the winter if you're looking for a protective style. So let me know what you guys think about this wig. I do have a discount code PC20 so you guys can get uh, $20 off. And I will also have a link for this wig down below if you guys are interested. I think it's really, really cute actually now that I keep playing with it. Um, it just needs to be co-washed. But... I do like it and I think uh, all my natural ladies will like it too because 
it's so free like you can just throw this on and go i'm always about convenience and i'm always about affordability so um i will leave a link for this wig down below i will talk to you guys later